Five Functions of Coil in Electronics and Electrical Circuit Coils, also known as inductors, play a crucial role in electronics and electrical systems. Here are five functions of coils in electronics and electrical circuits. Number one is the concept of energy storage in a magnetic field is closely tied to the behavior of inductors, which are coil-like components commonly used in electronic circuits. When a current flows through an inductor, it generates a magnetic field around it. This magnetic field stores energy in the form of magnetic potential energy. The amount of energy stored in the magnetic field of an inductor is proportional to the square of the current flowing through it and the inductance of the coil. The formula for the energy stored in an inductor is given by equals 1 2 2 W equals 2 1 L I 2 where W is the energy stored in the magnetic field in joules. L is the inductance of the coil in henrys. I is the current flowing through the coil in amperes. This equation shows that the energy stored is directly proportional to the square of the current and the inductance. When the current through the inductor changes, the magnetic field also changes, and the energy stored in the magnetic field is either released or absorbed from the circuit. This property of inductors is essential in various applications, such as inductive energy storage in power supplies, where inductors are used to smooth out variations in current and voltage, providing a more stable output. It also plays a crucial role in transformers, where energy is transferred from one coil to another through the magnetic field coupling, allowing for voltage transformation. Number two is inductive reactance is a property associated with inductors, coils, in AC, alternating current, circuits. It represents the opposition that an inductor presents to the change in the flow of alternating current. The symbol for inductive reactance is typically represented by the letter X L and is measured in ohms. The inductive reactance X L in an AC circuit is calculated using the following formula equals 2 x l equals 2 pi f l where x l is the inductive reactance in ohms pi is a mathematical constant approximately 3.14159 f is the frequency of the ac signal in hertz l is the inductance of the coil in henrys Key points about inductive reactance. Dependence on frequency. Inductive reactance is directly proportional to the frequency of the AC signal. As the frequency increases, the inductive reactance also increases. Opposition to change in current. Inductive reactance is associated with the back EMF, electromotive force, generated in an inductor when the current through it changes. It opposes any change in the flow of current. Phase relationship. The voltage across an inductor in an AC circuit lags behind the current by a phase angle of 90 degrees. This means that inductive reactance introduces a phase shift between the voltage and current waveforms. Role in AC circuits. Inductive reactance plays a crucial role in AC circuits, particularly in the analysis of impedance. Impedance. Z is the total opposition offered to the flow of alternating current and is the vector sum of resistance. R and reactance. X for an inductor, the impedance is given by equals plus Z equals or plus JX L where J is the imaginary unit. In summary, Inductive reactance in AC circuits is a measure of the opposition that an inductor presents to the changing current flow in an alternating current system. It is a key parameter in the analysis of AC circuits, helping to determine the overall impedance and behavior of the circuit. Number three is transformers are devices that play a crucial role in electrical power distribution and transmission. They are based on the principles of electromagnetic induction and consist of two coils of wire, known as the primary and secondary windings, 
which are typically wound around the common magnetic core. The functionality of transformers can be explained as follows. Mutual induction. Transformers operate on the principle of mutual induction. When an alternating current, AC, flows through the primary winding, it generates a magnetic field around it. This changing magnetic field induces a voltage in the secondary winding through electromagnetic induction. Step up and step down voltage transformation. The turns ratio of the primary to secondary windings determines whether the transformer steps up or steps down the voltage. If the secondary winding has more turns than the primary winding, the transformer is a step-up transformer, and it increases the voltage. Conversely, if the secondary winding has fewer turns, it is a step-down transformer, and it decreases the voltage. Conservation of power In an ideal transformer, neglecting losses, the power on the primary side is equal to the power on the secondary side. This relationship is expressed by the equation. 1. 1. Equals. 2. 2. V. 1. I. 1. Equals V. 2. I. 2. Where. V represents voltage and I represents current on the respective sides. Isolation Transformers provide electrical isolation between the primary and secondary circuits. Since there is no direct electrical connection between the windings, they prevent the direct flow of current between the input and output circuits. This isolation enhances safety and protects equipment. Efficiency and losses Practical transformers exhibit some level of energy losses, including core losses, hysteresis and any current losses, and copper losses, resistive losses in the windings. Transformer efficiency is the ratio of output power to input power and is an important factor in determining the overall performance of the transformer. Frequency transformation. Transformers are designed to work at a specific frequency. Changes in the frequency of the AC input can affect the transformer's performance. For example, transformers used in power distribution are designed for specific standard frequencies, e.g., 50 Hz or 60 Hz. In summary, transformers serve the essential function of transforming voltage levels in AC circuits, allowing for efficient power distribution and transmission. They provide voltage step-up or step-down capabilities, electrical isolation, and play a vital role in the overall efficiency of electrical systems. Number 4 is coils, inductors, play a significant role in filtering and signal processing in electronic circuits. When combined with capacitors, they form various types of filters that selectively pass or block certain frequencies. Here are some key points related to filtering and signal processing using coils. Low pass filters. Inductors are often used in conjunction with capacitors to create low pass filters. In a low pass filter, low frequency signals are allowed to pass through, while high frequency signals are attenuated. The combination of an inductor and a capacitor forms an LC low pass filter that is commonly used to filter out high frequency noise from signals. High pass filters. Similarly, inductors and capacitors can be combined to create high-pass filters. High-pass filters allow high-frequency signals to pass through while attenuating low-frequency signals. LC circuits can be configured to achieve high-pass filtering characteristics. Band-pass filters Band-pass filters are designed to pass signals within a specific frequency range while attenuating signals outside that range. Inductors and capacitors can be configured in a way that creates band pass filters. These filters are useful in applications where a specific band of frequencies needs to be isolated or amplified. Notch filters. Notch filters, also known as band stop or band reject filters, are designed to attenuate signals within a specific frequency range while allowing signals outside that range to pass. Inductors can be part of the circuitry used to create notch filters which are employed to eliminate unwanted frequencies or interference. Signal conditioning. Inductors are used in signal processing to condition and shape electrical signals. 
By selectively allowing or blocking certain frequencies, inductors help shape the waveform of a signal according to the requirements of a particular application. Impedance matching. Inductors are also used in impedance matching networks, especially in radio frequency RF, applications. These networks ensure that the impedance of the source matches the impedance of the load, optimizing power transfer and reducing signal reflections. Resonance circuits. Coils are integral components in resonance circuits, where the combination of inductance and capacitance results in a resonant frequency. These circuits are used in applications such as tuning radio receivers or creating oscillators in electronic devices. In summary, coils are versatile components in electronic circuits, and their combination with capacitors allows for the creation of various filters and signal processing circuits. These circuits are essential for shaping, isolating, and conditioning electrical signals in a wide range of applications, from audio processing to communication systems. Number 5 is inductive proximity switches and magnetic sensors are types of sensors that utilize coils, inductors, to detect the presence or absence of objects based on changes in the magnetic field. Here's an overview of each. Magnetic sensors. Magnetic sensors detect the presence, strength, or changes in a magnetic field. They are used in various applications, including industrial, automotive, and electronic devices. There are different types of magnetic sensors, such as Hall effect sensors, magnetoresistive sensors, and reed switches. Hall effect sensors, these sensors use the Hall effect to measure changes in magnetic fields. When a magnetic field is applied perpendicular to the current flow in a semiconductor material, it generates a voltage proportional to the magnetic field strength. Hall effect sensors are often used for position sensing, proximity detection, and current measurement. Magnetoresistive sensors, these sensors exploit the changes in resistance of a material when exposed to a magnetic field. The resistance of the sensor changes in response to the strength and orientation of the magnetic field. Reed switches, reed switches are simple magnetic sensors that consist of two ferromagnetic reeds enclosed in a glass envelope. When a magnet is brought near the switch, the reeds come together, completing an electrical circuit. Inductive proximity switches. Inductive proximity switches are sensors that detect the presence or absence of metallic objects without physical contact. They work based on the principles of electromagnetic induction. The core components of an inductive proximity switch include a coil, oscillator, and detection circuit. When a metallic object enters the detection range of the inductive proximity switch, it induces eddy currents in the object, which, in turn, affect the inductance of the coil. The change in inductance is detected by the electronics, triggering the switch to change its output state, e.g., turning on or off. Inductive proximity switches are commonly used in industrial automation, manufacturing, and robotics for applications such as object detection, position sensing, and conveyor control. Both magnetic sensors and inductive proximity switches leverage the interaction between magnetic fields and conductive materials, such as metals, to enable non-contact sensing. They find applications in a variety of industries, contributing to automation, safety, and control systems. In summary, coils or inductors serve various functions in electronics and electrical systems, including energy storage, inductive reactants and AC circuits, transformer functionality, signal filtering, and as key components in magnetic sensors and inductive proximity switches.